Now that you have your main company, Walmart, in my example, and Costco, your competitor, and all the other competitors, if you're on the Bloomberg machine and you have Bloomberg, you're logged into Bloomberg and, you, and it, your Excel uh, file is opened, and when you click on this third page, Bloomberg Data, it will bring in all the data for Walmart, and if you scroll down the page, it brings in the data for Costco. Has another thing for Walmart, you can ignore that. Um, I use that for doing uh, forecasting. And then at the very bottom, it brings in all the other competitors with a lot of other ratios and a lot of other things. So this page is essentially your, um, your data page. And what you were looking for is, first of all, that you have enough years. You want to go back as many years as you can, but at least five. You can see Walmart, we have, we have it all the way back to 1999. And you want to make sure you don't have too many NAs. You will have a few NAs. Some of them will be fine. Some will be a problem. But it looks like Walmart is pretty clean. I'll go down to Costco, Co, my competitor company, and it looks pretty clean as well. So we have good data. And so for the instructions on the Bloomberg, collect all your data on the Bloomberg sheet. That step three is now completed once, once you've changed your tickers. Step four is to take all this data from the Bloomberg machine on, on the Bloomberg page, click on that little triangle on the top left so that you select the entire page. You can do Control C so that you copy it. When you do Control C, you'll see the little ants around this corners there. Click over to the paste, Bloomberg paste values, the next page. Go to A1. When you're in cell A1, right click and click on the 1, 2, 3, the paste values. And that will bring all your data over. The yellow cells, you just want, you can just, anything that's a yellow cell, you can just click on those cells and click on the, the coloring up here and just say no fill because that was there for the previous company. We might do that with your company, but you want to just, when you start off, just get rid of those yellow fills because they don't have anything to do with it. It looks like Walmart's pretty clean, but if there are numbers we need to fix, we'll fix them on this page and then we'll highlight it in yellow to make sure we have them. Make sure though that when you click on A1, you right click and you paste, that you paste as values. You do not want formulas. And the way you can tell, if you look back on the page Bloomberg data and go to cell B2, you'll see that there's a very, very long formula in there. When you go to Bloomberg paste values and you go to B2, you'll notice the formula is not there anymore because you paste it as values now. If you did that, you'll have a clean Excel spreadsheet that you can work from at home.